Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. I'm glad to see you, even though the news that I'm about to talk about is probably not... Uh, well, I mean, whatever. It doesn't... It, okay, it does affect all of us. Apparently, Niger, this country that, according to our government, has had a recent coup where they've got this military junta or whatever that's in control of the government. Well, their military, uh, after one of our wonderful representatives went to visit them, said that we are too condescending and I guess that uh, whoever went there from the State Department offended them and they have now discontinued all military relations with us. The problem is we have this very important drone base apparently that in that country, in Niger, that I didn't know about or you probably knew about it because you're smarter than me. But it's very important. It has a lot of personnel and very, very expensive, important drones that we fly out of uh, this African nation. And now we're being told to uh, to pull everything out immediately. And I, is it bad that my thought is like, oh, gosh, I hope that this doesn't go like Bagram. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. So yeah, the uh, the government over there in Niger, this military, they, they keep saying it's the military government or the mili whatever, the military authority. They're saying that we have to get out and remove all our stuff. And again, I'm I'm thinking like, oh man, this. Uh, I really hope that the same people are in charge that were in charge when we abandoned Bagram with all that uh, military equipment. This is very important. We have very important, expensive drones that probably have very secret technology in them uh, sitting there in Africa. And I'm just thinking like, oh, I can just imagine General Milley. He's going to be telling uh, President Biden, or maybe they both agree on this, you know, like both telling each other, I've got this great idea. Why don't we just leave it there, you know, and uh, never mind it. Uh, we'll just leave it there. And there's all this talk that apparently Niger's military uh, junta or whatever you call it, I, I'm probably mispronouncing that, has apparently worked out some kind of a secret deal with Iran and Russia. Yeah, I start to be very concerned about all our stuff over there and um, whether or not there's been some kind of a, they're going to get their hands on our top secret drone technology again and uh, possibly duplicate it or figure out how to detect it or that sort of thing. Uh, that's a little bit troublesome. Boy, these things just keep happening happening under the Biden administration, don't they? It's just uh, one after the other. I mean, he just gave Iran, uh, what was it, $12 billion or said that they do get to have the $12 billion. And now this. I, I'm hoping that there's not another wonderful gift going to Iran and Russia. It, it's strange, isn't it? Because uh, Joe Biden is supposedly like this uh, gung-ho, absolutely, uh, totally against Russia in every possible way. And yet this happens and it comes out that, uh, well, they've got the secret agreement about, uh, you know, working with Iran and Russia. Well, that would be, wow, how so convenient that uh, they would suddenly be in a position possibly. I mean, assuming we have these people, there's no way they would do that, right? Millie isn't that dumb, is he? I, I don't know that he's dumb at all. I mean, he has to have some intelligence to have risen to the, the heights that he's at now and gone through West Point and all of that. Surely he wouldn't do something as dumb as leave the, the drone stuff there for the enemy to have, would he? I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm, I, I just feel a little bit concerned about it because of what happened at Bagram. And that it came out that he was telling Trump that we should just leave the stuff there. It's like, well, that's a really weird thing to say. Well, you know, never mind that the American taxpayers, you know, paid all that money for the stuff. It's just too hard to get it out. Let's just forget about it. Hello. Ah, that was, that was strange. Was there just a little kid here? No, that was my son. He just wanted to say hello. So, uh, we're, we're, yes, the uh, the whole situation, I just don't trust General Milley and President Biden with plans of withdrawal, especially sudden ones. You know, they did terrible with the, the Bagram thing in Afghanistan, and that wasn't a sudden withdrawal either. I mean, there was plenty of time for preparation and planning. Supposedly, they had bought themselves some extra time. This is like, you need to leave now, and uh, we have a lot of expensive stuff there, so... Um, Hopefully they have the uh, the foresight to, you know, maybe fuel up the drones and fly them off to some other air base in the area. 
I, I hope, <laughs> I hope, I, I, I just don't trust them when it comes to this stuff. I'm, I'm afraid that there's going to be a lot of expensive things left behind uh, and secret things. So a little bit disturbing, a little bit disturbing news. I don't what, am I wrong? I mean, should I be like trusting that General Milley has things under the control and they would never actually do that? That Biden would not do that? He wouldn't allow secret drone technology to fall into the hands of enemy nations? I mean, Niger isn't exactly an enemy right now, but if they're making a secret deal with Iran and Russia, well, that kind of puts them on the list, doesn't it? And uh, what kind of diplomacy are we running here? Who went over there and offended everybody? What did they do? You know, they like land and just snub the people in the country that they're visiting. Like, oh, we're so important and better than you that we don't have to have any diplomacy whatsoever. We don't have to be diplomatic about anything. We can just be jerks. Well, that sounds kind of like the State Department as of late. They're, they're that way. You know, it's weird because I've known people that, sure, you know, people that work in the uh, the State Department that are part of the diplomatic corps, they've got a big ego a lot of times. Not the people that just, you know, work in the embassy or the consulate uh, saying yes or no to visas, although sometimes they do tend to have a big ego. But usually they're pretty friendly. What am I saying? They're, they're usually pretty friendly. But even the people that have the big ego that work in the back, you know, like you, you I, I once met with the uh, the consulate, the consul general in Shanghai a long time ago. And, you know, he was a pretty personable guy. You, you would think so if you're working in diplomacy, right? Who the heck did they send to Niger? That Would they find somebody that just, you know, hated everything and just went over there and insulted them. You guys are you know, just nothing but a bunch of uh, third rate, uh, third world, whatever place. And then that was the end of like, well, you know what? We have this big agreement. You have your drones here. Get out. That's it. We're done. That, that's what the Niger, the, the people in Niger are saying, the government there, that uh, this is better for the people in the country. I, that, that again makes me wonder, like, what are we doing over there? Usually you'd think if there's like an air base it would bring good economic things, you know. You'd have all the personnel there spending money and all of that. Do they just lock them up on the base and not let them out? Uh, so they don't actually interact with anything in the country? I guess in that case, it'd just be a matter of, like, we're paying rent or something. I would think that it would be beneficial security-wise, you know, to have a, a U.S. military base in your country because the United States is going to defend that military base. But then again, maybe they you know, we're watching the whole thing in Afghanistan and they're like... Yeah, that doesn't really uh, that doesn't really make us feel any better. Who knows? I, I'd be curious what you guys think. Am I wrong about this? Am I right? Is, is it kind of confusing where I stand on this? I don't know. I, I feel like uh, our, our government really goofed up here, and I'm afraid that they're going to goof up in, even more. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Come, come, come,